Back in the early 20th century, physics took an unexpected and fascinating turn when a new kind of substance, antimatter, emerged from the equations, suddenly bringing a deep mystery into focus. Why does the universe, made of ordinary matter, why does it even exist? When matter meets antimatter, the equations suggested in the experiments confirmed that they annihilate, leaving behind a haze of radiation. So why are we here? To see where this mystery all begins, let's go back to 1928, when a brilliant young physicist named Paul Dirac wrote down an elegant new equation to describe particles like the electron when they're moving close to the speed of light. Dirac found that his equation didn't just describe one kind of particle, it seemed to describe two kinds. Well, kind of like how when you take the uh, square root of a number, you get two answers, one positive and one negative. Now, one of the solutions seemed to describe the familiar electron, which is good, but the other solution, it didn't match anything anyone had ever seen. So Dirac, he spent a couple of years wrestling with this other solution, trying to figure out what it meant. And finally, he proposed something bold. Maybe that second solution was describing another particle just like the electron, same mass and same spin, but with the opposite electric charge. A result that in principle would apply to all matter. For every particle of matter, there would be a partner particle with the same properties, except its charge would be opposite, antimatter. 